So when your group was formed, one of the founding members would have decided what the group's uh, financial or fiscal year would be at the onset. This would be in your bylaws um, under the financial section. As a treasurer of your organization, you want to make sure to look and see if your bookkeeping system um, agrees with what your bylaws say. So in other words, if your bylaws say that your financial year starts on January 1, then your bookkeeping system should also start on January 1. If your bylaws say your, your financial year starts on July 1, your bookkeeping system should agree with that. The reason for that is because when you report to the IRS, if you're a tax exempt organization, you're gonna be reporting on what the financial year outlined in your bylaws is. And so the, the numbers that you pull from your bookkeeping system need to span that period of time. And if they don't, if they're a mismatch, then what you report to the IRS would be inaccurate. And you don't wanna do that. So double check that at the beginning of your term so that you don't have any surprises down the road. Some groups intentionally have a budget year that is different than their fiscal year. There are sometimes good reasons to do that, but I would say if you have a choice, um, it's it, don't do it. <laughs> it makes it really difficult to see if your actuals are on track with your budget. It just complicates things um, and it's really error prone. So if you can avoid that at all, it, just make sure that the two, your financial year and your budget year are in agreement. If you find yourself um, in a situation where things don't align and it's frustrating, I um, highly recommend that you fix that at the beginning of your, your term. It's not impossible to do. You can change your bylaws and then you need to let the IRS know that you've changed your financial year. So it's, again, it's not impossible to report on a different period, um, but it does take a fair amount of effort. So it's something you only wanna do once Make sure that it's really what you want to do before you start down that road. So don't go too far. Learn everything you need to know to be a rock star treasure at moneyminder.com forward slash resources.